Hello, my name is Russell, also known as Slam Tilt, and uh, I'm going to show you this uh, tutorial now. This is how you put, uh, or how you create movie clips that can be used on any pinball machine, any pinball table that you create in Future Pinball. So what I'm doing here is I've just uh, opened up Power Director, which is the editor that I use for all my clips, and uh, I'm just selecting a clip from the film The Temple of Doom, which I'm going to use for the Indiana Jones table. So I'm just selecting my clip. Um, at the moment, uh, the clip will only be around about four or five seconds long. And what I'm doing here now is I'm just going to save that as a WMV. It will take um, about a minute to process that. Uh, make sure you save it somewhere where you can find it in a moment. So this is the first stage. It's just selecting the clip that you want to use and saving it as a WMV. The next stage is to extract individual images from that clip. Now, to do that, we use this free studio software, which is free to download, and it automatically converts any video clip into a series of still images or JPEGs, which makes it very easy to import into Future Pinball. So you'll see now that that clip is now broken up into about 150 still photographs or still images. Now, what happens when this uh, when, when this process is being used, it sometimes creates duplicate images, so you have to go through and take out the duplicate images, which is what happens here. I take it down to, and it's now to about 100 frames, I've taken out the duplicate images. Now it's running at around about 24 frames per second, which is too much, so we need to get it down to about 14 frames per second, so we need to take out every other frame. So I've renamed them, and now I'm taking out every odd number, so I know it's every other frame. So 100 frames will come down eventually to 50 frames. So a five, minute, a five second clip will come down to about 50 frames, which is what we're looking for. So that takes a few minutes to do, and then you've got all the individual images there. Rename them again so they're all in order, which makes it easier when you're importing them into Future Pinball. There we go. And then we'll just check it, and as you go through and check it, you can see that it's nice smooth animation and if it was moving, moving a lot faster than that it would be very smooth indeed. So now we need to import all those images into Future Pinball. So like any image that you import into Future Pinball you just bring up the folder and then you just import every single frame. Now I'll do 30 at a time because it, does, it won't do a whole lot in one go so I can only do 30 at a time. So that's the first 30 images in and then I'll import the last 20 images. So in total there's 51 frames. So they all go into the uh, media library. Okay, so the next stage now is to create an image list. Now the image list is used um, to contain all the images um, and is used when there's um, an overlay on the uh, back glass which will use the image list to play the, uh, the actual images. So we'll just uh, create a uh, an image list called movie clips and then we'll pop all the frames from the Indiana Jones clip into that image list so all 51 frames will go in I'll just fast forward a little bit because you don't want to see this is quite boring make sure they all go in order and this is why you number all the individual images so you make sure they're all in the correct sequence so that's 51 frames loaded into the image list named movie clips now we need to create a movie player which will go on the back glass. So this is an overlay. We create the overlay and we'll make it around about 300 pixels wide and uh, 200 pixels high. That's too square. I'll bring that down a little bit. So we bring that onto the center of the back glass, separate it onto a separate layer so uh, we don't see the bulbs, and uh, bring it down to 300 and 150, which is about, about right size now. And then we change the name to Overlay Movie, which will be used in the script. And the image list, of course, is called Movie Clips. With all that in place, the final stage is to go into the script. Now just make sure the frames frame from frame 1 to frame 51. Just making sure that the, uh, the frames are in the right order. Now we're going to the script. And at the very beginning of the script, just as the table loads, I'm going to type in a very simple command which says overlay movie play frame 1 to 51 
to 1. So it's going to play the clip and it's just going to repeat. And that's going to happen as soon as the table loads. Okay, so we'll now fire up the table and uh, we'll see the clip in action. And there it is on the back glass. So you can see it's um, 51 frames, which is playing in a continuous loop. And uh, it really is that simple. And you can put any clip you want there. I mean, you, you could effectively put the whole movie on there if you wanted to, but that would be a bit silly. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.